In this lesson, we're going to be looking at question 1b on the May 2012 CSEC exam pass paper. Here it states, the table below shows the cost price, selling price, and profit or loss as a percentage of the cost price. Copy and complete the table below, inserting the missing values at 1 and 2, and that's a 4 marks. Now here they have given us the table. You could always pause the video to look at it. However, I'm just going to move quickly into the lesson, all right? Now before I start working out, before I start the solution to this video, uh, there are some key pointers to note, okay? Just, just bear in mind as we go along that the cost price, well, the profit rather, profit of, of an item, the, the profit of an item is really the selling price minus the cost price okay and and let me just change the color and the lost if you want to know how much you have lose if you have bought a product it's really loss is equal to the cost price minus the selling price so those are just some key pointers to make note of as we go along now here they are they have given us in the table and in part one they are asked they have given us the cost price which is $55 and they gave us the selling price which is $44 and they gave well they are they are asking us here to fill in the percentage profit or loss now by intuition, it would suggest that you have made a loss here, okay? Because if you bought something for $55 and you offer it for sale and you only got $44 for it, you would have actually gotten less than what you have bought it for. So you would have lose money on this item, okay? So to calculate the loss percentage now, so we have established that in this case, it's a loss, okay? So loss percentage, loss loss percentage is equal to and let's just let's just give you a quick uh, little algebraic formula that you can use to go about this it's the loss whatever you have lose so that's the loss over the cost price and it's a percentage we're working out so we're going to multiply that by 100 okay another piece of important pointer to find out if you want to find the loss as we have stated well we had stated it before so we don't have to state it again okay so to find the loss percentage this would be equal to and let's just write it out here the loss which is the cost price minus the selling price so we can just take those numbers from the table in part one above the cost price is $55 so here I would have my 55 minus the selling price which is $44 there so I'm going to subtract $44 from that and that is all upon my cost price which is $55 dollars okay and i'm multiplying all of that by 100 all right now quickly we can just go ahead and simplify this to get the loss percentage let's just work on this side since we're running out of space there so our loss percentage loss percentage is equal to 55 minus 44 that will leave us with 11 upon 55 so this is 11 upon 55 and we're multiplying that by 100 okay guys now basically 11 upon 55 we know that really 11 into itself goes once and 11 into 55 goes five times okay so really we're finding one fifth of a hundred so we can simply say five into itself goes once and five into a hundred goes 20 times but if you should remember it's a percentage we're working out so this is really what's left uh one times 20 that's 20 percent so our loss percentage and let me just change the color quickly what they're asking us here now to fill in this table, how much money we would have lost on the product by selling it for $44 when it was purchased at $55. All right, so we would have lost a total of 20%, okay? And that is a loss. So that's really what happened there. Now quickly, uh, let's just move on to part two. Now in part two, uh, well, this is a little bit more technical, um, pretty easy pretty easy uh, let's just go over here to work part two okay guys now follow me uh, what this is saying here they are asking us to find the cost price they have given us the selling price the selling price is a hundred dollars and they gave us the 
profit percentage so obviously here we would have made money because a profit means to gain so we made money on this product that we have sold so really if we sold it for a hundred dollars then obviously the cost price would be less than the selling price because we had gained some money on it as i've established before so really here uh let me just algebraically let's just look at it quickly for the example for the solution purposes quickly now if i have made a profit on on this on this item then obviously i am going to take my profit percentage and i'm going to add it to 100 and the 100 that i'm going to add it to it's not the selling price this 100 here i just want to establish that okay but what i'm really saying what i'm really saying i am saying if i should add 25 which is the profit that i've made plus 100 okay i am simply calculating a hundred and twenty five percent so i am going to put all of this up on a hundred upon a hundred and then i'm going to multiply that by my cost price so times my cost price which i don't know so i'm just going to simply call it cp and that must be equal to my selling price which is this hundred here now let me just explain this again for those persons who haven't gotten it if you notice 100 over 100 is the same as one so i couldn't multiply 100 over 100 times the cost price because i would get the same amount that wouldn't make sense so really what i did was to take the profit add it to 100 in my numerator and since it's percentage i'm dealing with it's out of 100 so really what i have here is 25 plus 100 that will give me 125 percent because this is up on 100 so really since this has increased, since the item has increased by 25%, uh, 125% of my cost price will, will give me my selling price. Okay, that's simply what I'm saying. So this is being multiplied by my cost price, CP, which I don't know, and that is equal to 100, which is the selling price. All right. So since 125 over 100 is multiplying the cost price, I am going to have to move this number to the opposite side of the equation. So since this is multiplying, I am going to have to divide by this number. So basically what I'm going to say is 125 upon 100, okay, upon 100. And I'm doing what now, guys? Multiplying my cost price. To move it, I must divide both sides, okay? This is equal to 100. And I'm going to have to divide both sides by 125 upon 100, okay? And that's pretty easy. So 125 upon 100 would cancel out with 125 upon 100. And what I did to this side was to divide. So I must also divide this side by 125 upon 100, okay? I've used two different division signs, but it's the same thing, all right? So you don't have to worry about that. So 125 over 100 upon 100 would cancel out here, leaving me with the cost price, which is CP, CP, the cost price, must be equal to, that's what I'm left with over here, 100, and if you notice, I'm dividing fractions again, so I'm going to simply multiply by the reciprocal. So we change the sign to multiplication, and we're just going to simply flip this, okay? And we have a 25 there. So essentially, guys, we can say 25 into 100 goes four times. We can just cancel out 25 into 100 goes four times and 25 into 125 goes five times. OK, and from that, we can also deduce. We can also conclude that five into itself goes once and five into 100 goes 20 times. OK, and therefore, therefore our cost price must be equal to 20 times four. That will give us 80 dollars. OK. So therefore, in money value, our cost price worked out to be $80. And let's just write it here. And it should make sense now because um, what you're saying, 25% off. If, if, if you should add back 25%, if you should find 25% off $80 and add it to 80, you would get back the selling price, which is $100. So hopefully you're seeing that. Okay. Um, I guess there are many other ways of working this out. This is how I'm looking at it now. So you could always make a video response to this if you have another solution, uh, another way of working it out. And, you know, add it. 
to it below um that's pretty much it i uh, hope that this was useful see you in the next video where we'll be looking at part c bye bye